Hey there kiddos, how you doing today? Welcome to Sandy's Odds and Box. And I want to show you something I just made. Look at this. Isn't this just the cutest thing ever? Oh, it is so cute. This is called a border edge, page edge, page border, whatever you want to call it, but it's cute. And you make loads of these. Yeah, they're so easy to make you want to make a bunch of them for your journal. So let's, let's go ahead and get going with this. Okay, first of all, it's so easy. We gotta start out with a base. Now we're going to think of a base. Um, I'm gonna use this old piece of paper. It can be any kind of paper for your base. I'm gonna use this piece of paper, my old notes. And I'm just gonna cut this up into a thin strip, okay? And you don't want it too wide. It's not quite an inch, but you don't want it too thin either. You want to give it some your pieces, something to glue to. And does it have to be perfectly straight? No, no at all. So this is a good thing if you, you're making notes and you're going to throw this paper away. So wait a minute, we can save that. We can use that. Yes, we can. So here we go. We got our base and we're going to measure it with our page. Now, depending on what size your journal is, will determine how long you want your base. Now, I want my base to be a little bit longer than my page, just in case I want to snip some off at the end. So, I have nine inches, so that's about a nine and a half inch strip. That's what I'm going to glue all my pieces on. And then you'll notice that I've got different things here. I've got security envelopes, I've got our harvested texture pages, I've got some bits from a napkin that I glued over top of text, I've got silk flowers, I've got a little bling bling going there, I've got some lace. So we're going to incorporate all these things into our page border today. So depending on what page you're going to work with depends on what kind of colors you might want to choose. So I've already gotten this one with yellow, so I already have all these yellow parts here, but I picked out a new one in my next signature. Now when I'm working in my, my journals, I like to do like one effect for each signature. So I have this signature, that's my first signature. I have that one, so now I'm ready to work with this one. Okay. So now I've chosen a page over here, and this is the page we're going to work with. It sort of has some greens and some browns in it. So that's what I'm going to be thinking about when I start putting things together. Okay, so this is going to be glued down right there. Now, does it have to be perfectly along the edge? No, no, this is so quick and easy. You'll, you'll see, you'll see. Okay, so let's move this to the side. And let's think about what we needed first. Now, first of all, we'll need some security envelope. Now, you can use whatever colors you want. I happen to have this blue one. I like the blue textures. And what you're going to want to do is to tear out at least three to four pieces about an inch and a half wide. Okay, so we're going to... This might do it for all four pieces, we'll see. I'm gonna just tear this off. This again is part of your junk mail, so look at your junk mail before you throw it in the trash, because you might find out you got some, some of this cool stuff. Okay, so yeah, I think this is gonna work for us. Woohoo! All right, sweet. So there we go, we got four of those. And do they have to be perfect? Heavens no. Okay, so then next thing we want to do is we want to, okay, we got our security envelope. Then we want to look at our textures. Okay, these are our harvested textures. These are what we harvest from old magazines. And let's see, remember we got our little bins. Remember when we, we harvest magazines, you'll want to separate three things that you're looking for and that is you're going to be looking for textures you're going to be looking for images and you're going to be looking for words so you're going to separate them into three different piles today we're only going to be working with our textures we're not going to be working with our images or our words so again we're looking at our page which is browns and greens and we're going to look through our texture box 
Let's see if we can find some browns and greens. Let's pull some stuff out here. And we just finger through here. Browns and greens, browns and greens. Maybe. Okay, browns and greens. Ooh, there's some green. Ah, okay, there's some green. That looks interesting. Okay, ooh, here's a darker green. Oh, yeah. Okay, so there's some more green. So let's let's let that go. Okay, so we got some of our harvested harvested papers. So let let's see if we can get some squares out of this. See what we can find. Okay, so um, now that I'm looking at it, I'm thinking not so much browns. Okay, we're going on the green side. Got a lot of green. Huh. Should we choose dark or should we choose light? Let's double check our page. See what it's looking like. Okay. Alright, so this is the page we're going to work in. Oh, well, that'll look nice. Yeah, okay, so we're going to go with the lighter greens. Darker greens goes back in our texture bucket. And let's see if we can get about four pieces. <laughs> we're going to have plenty of room here. Four pieces out of this. Okay. Again, you want to work about inch and a half wide. These are going to be going on our backing paper. Close enough. Okay, we're going to get four pieces of that. Let's try this. We need two more. really rough. So, all right. Okay, that is good. And we'll take this down a notch. Ta -da. Okay, we've got four pieces of those. Back into our bin. Get all our scraps out of the way. Okay, next. Let's see what we're working with. Okay, next we want to have some, uh, this is napkin glued over text. Uh, I think I think I just have a little bit of that. Let's double check and see. This is where I'm going into my odds and bobs box. Oh yeah, see, here we go. Here we go, this works, this works. Okay, so do we also have lace. We wanna see if we got any of that. That's not gonna work. Ooh, here's a piece, here's a piece, ha ha. Whoa, <laughs> like it was meant to be. Ooh. All right, that works out great. Is that the same kind of lace? Looks like it, yeah. Oh, okay. So we got this and this. All right, so we need to cut that down into four pieces, maybe three, but we'll do four just in case, you never know. Sometimes you want it a little bit fuller than it comes. Okay, so let's see. Four pieces. Browns and greens, let's see. Maybe not so much yellow. Maybe green in there. Hmm, okay. Let's try this one. happy with the effects that I get when I glue napkin onto text. Just it, it blends out the text a little bit and it just gives you that extra dimension there. It's like, okay, see I need a couple more pieces. Okay, let's go with this one. Hmm. Okay. All that going back into odds and bobs. You never know, you might come across something that you can use it for. Okay, uh, is that gonna be too big? We'll see. Put it on there, we'll see what happens. Okay, and let's try another one. Okay, odds and bobs. 
trash. Nope, not trash. Trash, trash. Trash, trash, trash. Okay, so now let's see. We got everything but our little silk flowers. Now again, I get my little silk flowers from old silk flower bouquets that people throw away. They don't want any more. Sometimes you can find them at thrift stores. Sometimes you can find them at yard sales. Uh, this this particular little batch that I got here, I found at a yard sale, and it was just over laying over on a table. And uh, I says, "Well, how much is this?" Because it didn't have a price on it. And the guy says, "Well, uh, a nickel." I said, "Okay, nickel. Nickel works for me." Okay, so uh, there you go. And you can collect a lot of cute stuff like that. All you have to do is ask, you know, because sometimes you can get it for free. You know, just depends on how much they want to get rid of their stuff. So we got some of those. And I think that's, oh, and a bling. We need our bling. Okay, um, bling. Okay. Now, I don't know if you've seen one of these before, but these are fabulous for saving your little bits and pieces of bling in. Okay. You can get these at a craft store. I got this particular one at uh, Michael's, actually. Use your coupons, people. Use your coupons. Don't buy this stuff flat out at the regular retail price. It's too pricey. I'm too cheap for that. So what I do is I put my little bits of bling and bling in there. And it puts them all nice and organized. I love it. Love it. So these are the ones I'm going to use today. Because I don't have any greens. Not really. Not blues. But... No, I think I'll use gold. Okay, so we're going to use our bling. But there again, yeah, use your coupons. Look, look, and make sure that they're not already on sale because the craft stores put a lot of stuff on sale. And for me, it's usually the stuff I want to buy, and they don't use let you use your coupons and the sale. So you want to make sure that everything's on sale the way you want it to be on sale. Okay, so there we go. So we got all our stuff together. Now we are ready to start gluing. And this is going to go super fast. So here we have our base. And we're going to use hmm, paper to paper so we can use our tacky glue first. We'll eventually end up using our fabric tack. No glue stick today. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start out with our security envelopes pieces, and we're not going to go all the way to the edges. We're just going to go in the middle. And I don't like to put them like bing, 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 like that. I like to put them in a little bit of an angle. Sort of makes it more interesting that way. Creates a little more interest. Not too much glue in the middle. Angle. Okay. Now, your first layer, you might want to put all four pieces down. I'm thinking, yes, we will. Yes, we will. Oh, yeah, that's going to work out nice, see? I like it when it just, it just flows better that way. Okay. Do you do want to flow? Okay, there we go. And here we go. Thank you, people, for sending me the junk mail. Okay, so we got that one glued down. So we got boom, 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 boom. Okay, and preferably do not glue it to your <laughs> to your mat. See, I should have had my glue paper down. That's all right. It's going to get better from here. A little bit. <laughs> okay, so that's our base. Okay, so then we want to work with our textures, our textures that we harvested. We harvested these green ones, and again, we put four, we cut out four. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, do we need four? Let's just lay them down and see. You know what? I don't think we need four. I think we only need three. Nine. And that's always good, because now you got a little extra bit to go over in your odds and bonds box. And there we go. We got... Yeah, and what you're going to do is you want to go in between the other pieces. And because, again, this is paper, and again, just use your middle. Just use your middle. 
and you don't want it to be on the same angle, but you want to cover up both those edges a little bit. Maybe we'll scoot over a wee bit. Okay, so I'm going to cover this one. Hello, guy, working man. You are now part of our plan. Okay, there you go. And it's interesting because when you uh, you turn these things over to glue them, sometimes you find very interesting images. So again, we want to have this not the same. Yeah, just like that. It's looking good, looking good, looking good. Okay, so our next one is we're going to put our lace down. Okay, so let's just lay it on there and see how it's looking. Okay. Now you notice I am not browning the edges of this. You can if you want to. For these, they're quick and easy. I, I don't bother. Okay, and we're going to lay these down like so. We want them in the middle. We don't want the same. We want some more green. Like that. And you know what? I'm just going to use three of those as well. <laughs> Okay, but we got a little bit of green going there. This one didn't have so much green, so I'm thinking, ah, oh, we'll use it another time. Okay, and let's give that a go. Okay, a little bit of thing here. And just one. Oh, you know what? Excuse me. Ah, oh, my mistake. Guess what? I forgot to do. Hello. I forgot to glue down the lace. <laughs> and with that, we got to use the tacky glue. The fabric glue, not the tacky glue. The tacky glue's all over it already. But hey, you know, that happens, it happens. Okay, so let's <laughs> let's get our little line of glue going here for our fabric. <laughs> you never think I'd actually plan this out ahead of time, right? Yeah, that's the wonderful thing about creating is you you end up doing things <laughs> that like oh, I didn't plan on that. And it's all good because you use your creative self, your creative mind, and you make it work for you. All right. All right. That works. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Okay. Now, <laughs> as we work, okay, we're going to glue that down like so. We want a little bit of everything showing. Okay, glue this little guy down. A little bit of everything showing. We're gonna lay in the middle. Again, we don't we don't want any of the edges really repeating their edges, so we want to make it all wiggly wonky. Okay, and how are we doing this one now? This looks good. Alright. Yay! Like a net, like a net. So what's next? those things right there. Okay, so let's get our little silk flowers. And again, you don't have to use silk flowers. Snap the cap. Snap the cap. Ooh. And that you can use whatever things you have. You can use paper flowers, for that matter. And with that, we're going to use the tacky glue and toothpick. Okay, so called it tacky glue. Fabric glue. Fabric tack. It's fabric tack. Okay. There we go. And we're going to put a little dab. Hmm. We'll go here and here. Two. Maybe we want four. Let's do four. Okay, a little dab of glue there. Dab there, one there. Dab of glue there, there. Dab of glue there, there. I'm not going to reuse them, but too thick. Right now. Dab of glue there. It's going to glue it there. Then we're going to get our bling out. And you know, I'm looking at these leaves and I'm thinking 
It's one of those squirrel moments. Oh yeah, I'm thinking maybe we're gonna use these leaves. Hmm. Okay, we got two different colors. Which one do we want? So dark. Light, dark. I do like the light. Not very much contrast though. No, the dark, I like the light. Okay, so let's see if we can find some leaves to work for us. Yeah, yeah. Get some leaves out here. Do we want one leaf for each flower or two? I'm thinking two, so we need eight of these little guys. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. I can get one. Seven and eight. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Let's just preview that. Okay, we got a little leaf here, a little leaf there. Let's see, a leaf here, a leaf there. Here. Excuse me if you can hear the lawnmower, because there are people outside mowing lawns. Okay, a little leaf there. Again, we want it to be different. Okay, a little leaf this way, and a little leaf that way. So let's see how this works. Let's see how we look in. Just stick in. <laughs> All right. I kind of like it. I say, let's do that. Okay, so we're going to just use our fabric tack that we used earlier. And it's still pliable. Strings. Tack that down. Press that in. Nice, I like it. Okay, that one's already good. And how about that one? Yeah, da 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 da. I like it. Okay, so now the next thing is we are going to add our bling. Okay, this little guy can go back in there. And again, these little containers are great because they open at the side and hopefully you don't do that and spill things out but they open up and you can get stuff out of it so the way I attach my bling is I'll go to my glue take a little roll of glue just a little bitty bit and I will look for a piece that I can just dab right there and then we're going to put it a little dab right there Bling, see it's already it's on top of there. Guess what? It comes right off. It comes right off right there in the center. Sweet! This little guy. Are you the right color? Are you what I want? Let's see. Okay, we'll put it in. Probably not that much. And place them in the center. Do and make it stick. Next one, place it in the center, preferably in the center. Do we make it stick? Little guy. Center. Yeah. And there you go. Voila! Ta da! We got all of our little pieces on. <laughs> we got our gap on, our glue. And there we go. Now it's quite wet on the back side because it's all that glue on there. But there it is. There it is. Isn't that nice? 
Okay, now you may want to come in here and add something extra, like maybe another little cluster, maybe a bigger flower. That's up to you. Let's see what we got going here. Let's see how it looks on our page. Put a little toothpick back. Oops, moving everything. Going to move. Okay. Uh huh. Now you'll notice that it is hanging over a wee bit, and that's okay because we'll trim that off later. After we glue it down. Now, when you are gluing it down, you'll want to make sure that this backing paper does not show. So you want to make sure that it's down below that. Now you may think, well, you know, that doesn't look all that pretty. It doesn't look all that pretty there, but you know you can go by here and you can glue another piece of lace over the top of it. I'm going to talk a little louder because the lawnmower is getting very, very close now. Okay, so we've finished up our page border and now we are ready to glue it into our journal. So again, there we want to make sure that we, using paper to paper, we can use our tacky glue and be generous. Snap your cap, turn it over, and let's check and see if we've got it where we need it. Okay, move that up a little bit. up here. Okay. It's looking good. I think we got it. Okay, so let's just press that down. Alright, looking good. You want to be moved. No, you really want to be there. Okay, again. Oh, I like it. I like it. It looks really good. It brings out the browns, it brings out the greens. Looks very, very nice. Okay, so move it to the back side. You're gonna think, well, let's pull this down and just see how much we have sticking over. So we have a little bit sticking over, and what I'm gonna try to do is just trim some of that off. Because you may end up good through your lace, so you're gonna trim some of that off. I want a little rough edge there. So I'm going to cut through the lace, but I'm going to tear through the paper. See, and that comes up with a very nice, yeah, I like that. That looks very good. That looks good. So let's do that at the bottom. I don't want to cut that leaf, but I do need to trim that lace. So we're just going to do it on top. There you go. Boom, boom, boom. And you may want to keep that just like that. Or you may want to trim it off a wee bit. Which is what I'm going to do. Okay, so, oh yeah, yeah, that works. That works. So, hey, how cute is that? Now, you can go ahead and continue to embellishing if you feel like you need something here, or if you need something here, or something there. You can put another little something, something there and build it up. But remember, don't build it up too high because you want to be able to close your book. You want to be able to close your book. And look at that, isn't that cute? It creates all kinds of interesting edges for your journal pages. So there you go. So that's it. And you can make lots of these and just be able to have them made ahead of time. And then that way when you have a page that you're thinking, oh, you know, it needs a little something, something. There you go. You can pop one of those puppies on. Okay, so I hope you liked this. And if you did, please press that little like button. Give me a thumbs up subscribe don't forget to subscribe because then we can learn about a whole bunch of other stuff that we're going to be doing with this and thank you again for coming by sandy's odds and bobs and we'll see you later bye bye